moving on here. Our last big main topic of the night is about PlayStation Studios. Um, if you've been following this, you will know that PlayStation Studios has been kind of scooping up st other studios here recently, and um, they just did another one. They got another one today announced, at least, was uh, headed over to PlayStation Studios is Fire Sprite. That's their name, uh, Fire Sprite Games, and their studio that is working on uh, some different games that you may have heard of, you may not have. To be honest with you, I'm not super familiar with Fire Sprite, but after today, I definitely dug into them. So here's here's what we dug up. This uh, Fire Sprite is a Liverpool Liverpool-based developer, and they were established in 2012 by former members of the SIU studio Liverpool after it was closed by Sony. So these guys used to work for Sony. Their studio got closed down. They said, "Screw all that. We're gonna make our own Fire Sprite games." And now they got bought by um, PlayStation Studios, which is pretty funny to me. But um, they are now officially part of the PlayStation Studios family. And prior to the acquisition, they announced that they had, or yeah, they announced that they've been recruiting for two different titles. One is a quote game-changing, huge multiplayer shooter, and then the other is an ambitious, dark narrative blockbuster adventure. What does that mean? I don't know. I like all the adjectives they're throwing in there, um, but we'll see what they can do. And some of the games that they've uh, brought to the plate so far, one of them being uh, Persistence. I've never played this game. Uh, it's a VR title, but I looked it up on Steam before the show, and here's the uh, synopsis that you get on Steam. It says, Survive aboard a doomed deep space colony starship overrun with horrific and murderous arbitrators. Or arbitrations. Wow. Explore, evade, and fight your way through the depths to bring the ship back to Earth. Gather resources, upgrade abilities, and fabricate an arsenal of weapons in this sci-fi horror roguelite. So that comes from Steam. That's about persistence. That's one of the games they've made. But the main game that I've seen that they've worked on is the Playroom games. Now, if you have a PlayStation, you should know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, go on your PlayStation right now and look for Playroom. Uh, I think it comes free with the PS4, and it's a really cool game. It shows some of the fun little demo things you can do with the PS4, and I had a lot of fun with it back in the day. They actually had a Playroom VR where you could use the camera and be in a VR space and do all that with the little, you know, what are they, Astrobots now? Uh, whatever their names were back then, but... That's what they did, and, and Herman Hulse uh, made the announcement. Herman Hulse is the head of PlayStation Studios. He says, After a number of years closely co collaborating on several games together, including Playroom and Playroom VR, I couldn't be more delighted to welcome Fire Sprite to the PlayStation Studios family as our 14th studio. So that's pretty interesting. They have 14 studios under PlayStation Studios now. And, uh, I, I mean, I can't believe it, honestly. But... When you look at it, they are pumping out some of the best games on Earth over here at PlayStation Studios. Now, you can call me a PlayStation fanboy. You can call me whatever. We got to just look at what we're dealt. Man, they are killing it over there. I found this graphic on Twitter, and I want to kind of dig into it for a second because there's some pretty awesome stuff that I didn't realize that came from PlayStation Studios, right? Because, they, like I said, they've been scooping up studios now. I didn't know all these were a part of it. So let's just start in the top left. We've got Guerrilla Games, who makes Horizon. You know, we've been talking about Horizon Forbidden West. Y'all know that controversy. You saw that. And then they made Killzone back in the day. I remember playing Killzone on PS3. Had a lot of fun with Killzone. But that's Guerrilla Games. Then they just recently got House Marquee, who made Returnal. Returnal is such a good game. Nobody I know talks about it. I've been trying to, you know, tell everyone about this game. It is amazing. It is a, um, I believe it's a roguelite. I'm not actually sure if it's a roguelite or roguelike. Can't remember. But you basically get to play over and over, and it uses the haptic feedback in the PS5 controller so well. It's one of the best games I've I've seen that uses the game well. Like when you're running around, you can feel it ra raining on the console with the little vibrations and stuff. 
very impressive. Um, so yeah, that's one of their recent acquisitions. You have the Polyphone, who makes Gran Turismo. Polyphony, sorry. Um, and then you have Media Molecule. They make Little Big Planet and Dreams. Dreams is another one that goes under the radar. And if you don't know what Dreams is, it's basically this set of tools and place where you can build your own games. And I know that sounds crazy, but it is, it's exactly that. You can go in there and design and build games with these tools inside Dreams. And so if you try Dreams out, it basically gives you this catalog of all of these games people have made, and they are very impressive. I don't mean like wonky, weird games. Some of them are like photorealistic, legit games. I think I saw someone recreate Ratchet and Clank inside Dreams. It looked great. Um, but that comes from Media Molecule, and they're part of PlayStation Studios. And then com coming through here, there's Concrete Genie from Plix Pixel Plus, I believe is their name. Let me look. I'm, I'm Pixel Opus. I'm sorry. That's them. They uh, make Concrete Genie. Then you got San Diego Studios, who is always pumping out the MLBs of the show, who uh, n just recently expanded to Xbox, and it's on Xbox Game Pass. Get Xbox Game Pass. I know I keep talking about it every almost every night, but it just seems to kind of come up out of the depths that there's so much value in Game Pass. And MLB The Show, the newest one, is on Xbox Game Pass if you have an Xbox. But then we're getting into the heavy hitters here. We've got Insomniac Games. All right. They are known for Ratchet and Clank, Resistance, and Spider Man. Wow. Right? I mean, those three games right there. Whoa. All right. That's under Insomniac. Then you have Sucker Punch, who makes Sly Cooper, Infamous, and Ghost of Tsushima. Wow. Right? Wow. Just that one studio has pumped out Sly Cooper, Infamous, and Ghost of Tsushima. Whoa. Then you've got. The big boys, the big, big boys, in my opinion, that at least that sit on my heart. Naughty Dog, who has made Jack and Daxter, Uncharted, The Last of Us. You say those three games. I mean, they're, they're some of the best games of all time, and they all came out of that one studio at Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. That's not including Crash Bandicoot. That's, that's, that's the same studio. Can't believe it, right? Then you've got the, uh, the granddaddy of them all, Santa Monica Studios, who makes God of War. That's all under one one studio, and I didn't even name them all. The other, the other, there's some more in there. You got London Studio, who made Blood and Truth, who was a VR game, I believe, and uh, people loved it. Then you got Team Asobi, who made Playroom with uh, Fire Sprite and Astros Playroom, and you've got Ben Studios, who made Days Gone. Now I know Days Gone, uh, right? But that you can't say that wasn't a pretty high quality game, and um, the fact that it's all under this one umbrella is insane to me. And they're also also calling out this XDev kind of, you know, studio where they co-develop. And even in there, you've got some crazy ones. You've got Shadow of the Colossus, Demon Souls with Blue Point. Blue Point's amazing, by the way. Then you've got um, Death Stranding, and you've got Sackboy Big Adventure with Sumo. you got Super Massive, who made Until Dawn. The, the lineup really is nutty, Aaron Downs. I agree with you 100%. And again, I'm not trying to fanboy about PlayStation here. I'm trying to dig into what they have and what us as a consumer can expect from them. And we better have high expectations. That's all I got to say. I know I do. And after going through this lineup, you have to as well. They, they've earned it, right? I mean, this this lineup are some of the best games of all time, and it's all under one, one roof. Wow. Now, you do have... You got... Respect, respect where respect is due. Xbox just got Bethesda earlier this year. Talk about heavy hitters, right? Fallout. Um, of course, I'm blanking. Skyrim. Um, and Aaron Downs says, what are your thoughts on some of these studies being washed up, though? Uh, the studios? I, I don't think they're washed up. I really don't because, again, if you look at all of these games we just popped out, a lot of them are recent. So you've got Horizon at Gorilla, Dreams at Media Molecule, MLB The Show, Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man, Last of Us, God of War 2 coming soon. I, I don't know, man. And this, and then the other studios, they've just got to prove themselves and, and make me play their game, right? House Marquee did it earlier this year with Returnal. Didn't even know their name. Didn't know who they were. And now... The fact they're under PlayStation Studios and they brought us Returnal, boom, that bumps them way high in my book. 
and Team Asobi. You may not know who they are, and you may not know what Astros, Astros Playroom is. They're some of the fun, most fun games I've ever played on a PlayStation because of the quality and the time they put into those little games you get for free. Like when I got the PS5, guess what the first game I played on there was? It was the Astrobot game. And it's the little little Astrobot going around and doing the awesome stuff on the controller. And they would just, you know, flex their muscles, as you could say, on this controller. I just had so much fun with it. And to be honest, going back to the question, no, I, I don't think any of them are washed up at least currently. Maybe Ben Studios, they're the one that's got to prove themselves to me. I, I didn't love Days Gone. Um, I know they're a good studio, and I'm excited to see what they do next. But uh, that's the one that kind of sticks out to me. And uh, But we'll see. You never know. And who knows who else PlayStation's going to buy, right? All these games on our right side. Now, it says rumors, Fire Sprite. Hey, your rumor was correct. They got Fire Sprite. But who knows who else they're going to scoop up, and you love to see it. I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? Is this a little ridiculous? Let me ask you this. Do you care that they're under PlayStation Studios, or would you rather them be their own third party? That's the real question. To answer my own question, I'm good with them being first party. They've proven that being first party should and could bump you up to this higher level of quality that we should come to expect and that they've proven they can do. So the fact that uh, they're all under this studio makes me happy. But what do you guys think? Throw it in the comments. Let me know.